What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. Beautiful Mashal. Episode 11 of season 2. <laughs> Bro, last episode, Wahlberg was going the fuck in. And, it, and they were making it look like it was really going to be a tuning exam type shit where the motherfuckers invaded the enemy, right? And then they're going to somehow escape while also taking out our fucking leader, right? Okay, it was looking, it was looking grim for a second at the end for Wahlberg. My boy Mash and his crazy ass fucking vertical jump the fuck up there. I don't know how. We about to find out. <laughs> I guarantee you he's doing the same shit that he was doing in that sort of Quidditch sporting event that they have at their school. And he's just spinning the fuck out of his legs, somehow levitating with the, uh, the rest of them, like Innocent Zero and Wahlberg. That's what I had to guess. But he got the fuck up there and he need his shit in the face. Innocent Zero is feeling it. And he's ready to fucking do whatever he has to do to protect Wahlberg. I mean, he's at least made it here, right? You know what I'm saying? Wahlberg was literally about to be executed if Mash didn't intervene when he fucking did. So props to him. That shit was fucking lit. And then prior to that, you know, leading up to all of that between Wahlberg and Innocent Zero, their fight, I mean, absolutely amazing. Innocent Zero starting to get the upper hand on, on Wahlberg. And uh, I mean, I would say... For the, fr it seemed like Wahlberg. I mean, he's really bringing out all the stops. I and mean, when we saw Third's magic for the first time, and him u utilizing that and really bringing the life, like the god that's you know dormant in his wand, and we see this attack where he basically, I guess, makes his own this own realm of space with Uranus, and you can also see, I'm assuming Uranus, like this fucking mech-looking thing almost. And it seemed, I mean, this is, this seemed, it seemed absolutely overpowered. I was like, if Innocent Zero gets out of this, there's no fucking way, like, plot armor is crazy. And of course he does, because of his time magic, he just stopped all time within that space. But since he couldn't stop the casting of the spell, the third's magic, he then eventually reversed time, so both of them didn't really do, like, I mean, I got, I don't know how that works, though, because, like, how is Wahlberg still... I guess it doesn't matter since the, the the spell still went off no matter what, but I feel like because we saw it shrink again, that you know that shows that it reversed time right from Innocent Zero. And then he didn't have that attack, you know, that stab wound in his chest anymore. So it's like, okay, well, why is he so fatigued then? Like, if if it reversed time for everything else, then why is his energy not reversed as well? Like, he should be fine. And then you just go back to square one. But I don't know. We're not going to get too fucking in, in depth in that thought process because it's anime at the end of the day. But all in all, an amazing episode last one. So I'm very excited to get into this episode 11, season two. If you guys enjoy it, please like down below. Comment, subscribe for new. Hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Mashal, season two, episode 11. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, the ultimate magic. Third's magic, bro. That's the first time we've ever seen that. I wonder if anybody else is capable of that. Yeah, I doubt it. Because Wahlberg is like that. He's been alive for a long time. See, yeah, we see it start to work and expand, and then eventually he reverses time. And it shrinks again, so I feel like his fatigue would be fine, too. Like, he wouldn't be tired. Yeah, yeah, fucking OP fuck. This is quite the recap. <laughs> we have a complete narration over this recap for a good minute. That's what I'm talking about. That fucking knee was nasty, bro. That's what I'm talking about, Mash. Look at him, busting his fucking eye. All right, now show me how he's up here. Show me how he's up here. You're going to fucking literally just go play the opening until we see what the fuck's going on. <laughs> I know what you're doing. With my fist. Damn right, motherfucker. Damn right. I knew it. I knew it, bro. Yep, his legs are going crazy. That's how he's up there. I fucking knew it, bro. All right, opening time. Let's get this out of the way. I'm trying to see how we fucking wrap this up. That's right, Ro met up with Orter and Caldo over here. I'm surprised you haven't left yet. Didn't they watch MASH go off and run off to, <laughs> to meet up with him or find Wahlberg? Should have already been hightailing it after him. Like, just as backup, immediately. 
All good though, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't worry, Mash is there. He good, he good. <laughs> so trolly. Damn right. He was raised with good manners, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you like that, but you still old, motherfucker? Gotta protect the protect the seniors, bro. Protect the ones that brought us up and led us. If you can, bro. If, Ma if Mash actually puts the beaters on Instant Zero, I mean. Wait, yeah, isn't that one of Adam's abilities? So why'd you even bother fucking reviving him? It was just for a show? If you already have his magic, then you're chilling. That means Innocent Zero is really OP. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, we, he, yeah he's, he's still ready to fight. Or, or no, wait, 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 wait. That's Innocent Zero with it? That's not his own magic imitating Wahlberg's magic, right? He picked up his wand, I'm assuming? Bro. Oh my god. That mountain is fucked up. Okay, yeah, so he's imitating it. Oh, it's even stronger than his own magic. Wow. Bro, this guy's... Innocent Zero is a problem, bro. We gotta take care of him. We gotta take care of him quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, you heard the. Oh, damn. Put the e, bro, he's putting the beaters on him, bro. Oh my God. So I time bomb his shit, motherfucker. Okay, never mind. I was getting hyped. He still landed him, though. Ah, uh, there's a block. Bro, I don't want to go to your home, you creepy fuck. Oh, his body can't even keep up with how much fucking modifications and shit, crazy shit he's doing? He's just gonna take himself out? That would be hilarious. All this, all this for nothing because of your own dumbass mistakes and greed. Yeah, that's what you get for being a narcissist. Oh, yeah, so that's, I mean, he can't, yeah, he can't continue to perform what he wants to perform and just go all out with this body. That's why he's trying to have an immortal one. Mm, I, that was never my purpose. Damn fucking right. Yep. Bro, he's been proving everybody wrong since the beginning of this fucking show, since he started going to Eastern Academy. And he just saved literally the rest of the students, bro. I mean, I know they're frozen in time, so they're probably still gonna be an ignorant little bitches once they wake up or are unfrozen. Someone gotta hype him up, though, and someone gotta fucking let everybody know how it went down. I saved your asses. Y'all could have died. But Mash saved you. Somebody with no magic. <laughs> Bro, isn't Ro on his way? Like, come on, hurry up, Sakuna. Get the fuck over here, dog. I like how he's not even out of breath. Like, he's just chilling with his legs moving like that. Yo, Mash, he must not be skipping cardio, bro. <laughs> Damn right. Omnipotent. He literally thinks he's a god, and that's what he's trying to achieve. His personality, his personality already <laughs> had that though. <laughs> this motherfucker is god complex. Wait, you're leaving? You're literally retreating. Bro, he's literally retreating. <laughs> I 
and that dispelled all the demons and the frozen frozen time magic. This man is real live retreated. What the fuck is going on? What in the hell is this? Oh, he gathered them all up into one. Oh, he gonna go fuck that thing up. That's what I was just thinking. Like, he's gonna go fucking run his ass back there real quick from where he's at right now and handle that himself, too. Ah, oh, shit. You better catch him. Bro? Finally. Thank you, buddy. Ryo, that's how you pronounce it? <laughs> Ryo actually can't believe he was here. I'm actually kind of shocked that his name is pronounced like that, unless that's, that's just a Wahlberg thing. Bro, he. Bro, quick! Quick, he's out, bro. He's taking out that fucking giant. I still can't believe NS0 actually left, though. He's still trying to take out a bunch of motherfuckers. Like, are you actually gonna leave? Or are you gonna watch the demon be defeated? Alright! I mean. I guess he got some information, but I feel like this invasion for him was a huge waste. Then again, we didn't really capture any of their members. We didn't capture Cell. He got, you know, saved, teleported somewhere. Oh, that's right. It was it was reducing a cause of panic. Now that they're all up and see this shit, they're like, yo, what the fuck? Get me out of here. Everybody calm down. Mash is on his way, bro. <laughs> She's tweaking. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Yo, someone stop the rubble. Is he going to stop the rubble, too? Oh, Lance is going to stop that shit? <laughs> I, I doubt his sister's here. He just heard that shit. What was that gut scene? <laughs> Look, all you motherfuckers, magic students can use magic and shit, running for your lives. And Matt's just gonna pull up and take care of this shit swift. Please don't cliffhang me on this on this shit. I want to see him just wreck this shit. Cause I have a feeling if next episode is the last, then. That'll be more of like kind of like a setup for the next season instead of like a like a climactic like finale. Since Innocent Zero left. <laughs> I don't think that worked too much, that. Ah, they can't even use magic on it. Perfect! Mash just got put the fucking beaters on that motherfucker! <laughs> it's all over! They're fucking... They're tweaking. Come on, Mash. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, the magic barrier is also keeping them out. They can't even escape if they wanted to. That's wild. It's dire. Really, everybody's feeling the pressure like, oh, fuck, we're, we're done. <laughs> She's worried about her honeymoon. With MASH, of course, she didn't mention it. Is he literally holding it? And that's why he's not able to move? Bro, he's fucking up his feet or something. It's being dragged! Yo, nah. Yo, he's literally pulling him. Bro, he is fucking... Nah. Mash is too strong, bro. He's too fucking strong. You say that now, he gonna do it. He gonna fucking... Yo, he's dragging him. He's not even attacking him yet. They're having a tug of war? 
Tug of war, yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so trolly. Damn, his fingers bleeding and shit. He putting his own on this. Oh my god, he's breaking the chain? Damn right, thank you. We actually get the fucking students to witness this, because I was saying earlier they might still be ignorant if, the, if they're never unfrozen from time and don't see shit happen. But they're witnessing this firsthand. You can't talk shit after this. You can't. It's impossible. And if you do, you're just ignoring logic. And you're, you're a hater. Straight up hater. You despise life. You despise anything positive. Happiness. Joy. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. It's about time y'all fucking respected him a little bit. He's being cheered on right now. Bro. Is he actually gonna attack the thing or is he just gonna keep dragging it away? And buying time until they find the caster of the magic barrier shit. Bro, we haven't seen his eyes in a minute, dude. He's gonna do something. Come on. There we go. Mmm, Fen's voice reached him. Oh my god. Yo, nice. He's fucking eating him, dude. He's tossing him. Slam his shit. Slam his shit. Oh my god. Literally just threw him through the fucking mouth. Damn. Yo. Oh my god, they way, they made that way more dramatic than it is, but yo, Mash is really that strong, I guess, god damn. Hey, Finn's words reached him. That gave him the motivation to fucking throw his ass to the mountain. You're, you guys aren't married yet, you're not even in a relationship. What? It's Cream Puff. He's eating Cream Puffs. He don't give a fuck about you, Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> this is it just end right there? Oh, okay, we get a little bit more. That was Sean, I think his name is, reporting in. <laughs> My mushroom head, yeah, that's right. His nickname. Mm. He's the one that embodies it the most and he doesn't even have magic. That's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. Good episode. Good fucking episode. That was gas. Is it the last one? That almost gave me finale vibes, but I think there's one more. Yeah, there's one more. Okay, we get one more next week. That was good. That was fucking... Not what I was expecting exactly to happen, but that was gas. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing episode of Mashal. That was such a great watch. I'm gonna be honest. I was not expecting Innocent Zero to just fucking dip. Uh... You know, because it was going in the direction where last episode was like, you know, making you think like, oh shit, fucking Wahlberg's about to be executed, he's about to be taken out by Innocent Zero, and then somehow he's going to get the fuck away uh, before MASH and them are able to, you know, do anything. But actually, we ended the episode and, uh, well, no, it was, you know, confirmed, obviously, the climax of last episode was MASH intervening and kneeing him in the fucking face. So we catch up with that right away, we had quite a lengthy recap in the beginning, get into the episode. And MASH continues to defend Wahlberg as best he can and also like try his best to attack or do damage to Innocent Zero, but it paid to no avail. And then eventually Innocent Zero was, we started realizing that he, like he was like grunting and seemed like he was almost losing control or just in pain. And that is because of how much magic power he's using from all these like different types of magic that he has, because apparently he has Adam's magic as well. It's like, all right, what the fuck did you even revive him for then? I mean, if you already have it combined with your <laughs> time magic, what the fuck? But regardless, <clears throat> he was using a lot and that's not his body can't keep up with all that. So it's that's exactly why he's aiming for the goal of getting an immortal body with MASH and his six or five other creations or whatever. And we haven't even gotten into the details on how, how, how that's a thing or how it happened in the first place. But 
well, maybe a little bit of info. I think it was like clones from his blood or something like that. But I want to, I want to see like what actually happened because again, like Mash was left by himself as a fucking baby, and now you want him back. Like, uh, okay, yeah, his body can't keep up. That's why he's seeking the immortal body, and so yeah, he pretty much starts to make his exit, and he literally gathers up all the remaining demons that were in the Colosseum, turns them into one giant one that is a looming threat over them. Un obviously leaves, so the, the frozen time magic is undone. Everybody's freaking out. Panic ensues, which is another factor of just like chaos and you know what could go wrong as he's leaving. And then there's magic barriers that are not allowing them to escape. So there's somebody that's putting up barriers not allowing people to escape, protecting the demon monster, the giant, all sorts of things, and, and also uh, help sell escape and protect him. So Orcher was going out looking for him, as well as eventually Caldo and Barrett. But in the meantime, I was like, bro, Mash is coming in hot. And of course he was. We saw Ro like met up with Wahlberg and saved him as he was falling. And then Mash immediately was on his way to fuck up this giant demon. As soon as he gets there, He's putting in the work, he's putting in the strength, he's literally dragging his ass, playing a tug of war with the fucking giant. And now that everybody's awake, because I was saying at one point that the students, you know, since they were frozen in time and like they're not gonna see any of this, they're not witnessing any of this right now, you know, <clears throat> maybe they wouldn't witness anything that MASH done at all. And then there's still gonna be some ignorant motherfuckers that, you know, try to talk shit or give him shit for not having magic, you know, just being assholes. Uh, because they don't know any better and that's just what people do sometimes but turns out since they're free they were able to watch him do this on his own and do it for them for their school for everybody like he's doing it selflessly like he's, it's not like he's trying to prove anything to anybody besides himself that he is just a good person and he's trying to make it in this world without magic so everybody got to witness that and and that's good because now like you can't talk shit as i was saying if you do now then you're just like i said a hater like you're a straight up piece of shit like no logic up here there's no there's no talking to anybody that denies that of what they just saw in front of them and if there is like i said yeah you're just an idiot you're just dumb so very good to see that there was witnesses and they actually cheered him on and finn's voices finn's voice was the one that reached him cheering him on and kind of gave him that <clears throat> upper edge where he just lifted the fucking giant, threw him at the mountain, and <laughs> the spectacle of the giant landing in the hole in the mountain was so over the top. It was, it was, it kind of just made me laugh because of how crazy the impact was. I was not expecting that kind of impact, so they just went all in on that. Yeah, he handles fucking business once again, and that's pretty much where we leave off. And then we see Wahlberg in his bed, and you know. Ryo, if that's how you correctly pronounce it, apparently giving the news to Wahlberg that MASH did it. And I think that's pretty much all we saw. And that's where the episode ended. So we got one more, one more next week. I'm, uh, and since we ended off this climactic invasion sort of scenario going on in the, in the exam and whatnot, I'm assuming next episode is just going to be the setup for the next season. So maybe we get the results of MASH in the exam, or maybe they just completely not even count this exam since it was, you know, interrupted and they restart it. Maybe they at least change their point of views, like Orters, for example, on MASH's sentencing. So it doesn't really matter, you know, if he becomes divine visionary or not, like at least he has some support now from the school, everybody, you know, um, so that's all I'm expecting next episode. Just literally set up for, for the next season. That's what I'm expecting. So all in all, gas episode. Couldn't ask for more. That's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell to see the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.